Hello, my name is Nathan and you're watching Robot Masters. Today, this is the very first head-to-head -head video of the Brava M6 versus the iLife W400. Can the iLife W400 compete with the big boys, the Brava Jet M6? iRobot's been making robots for 15 plus years now. So the reason why I chose the iLife W400 to compete with the Bravo Jet M6 is they both have very unique mopping mechanics. The Bravo M6 has a detachable pad, which you can either buy uh, disposable ones or ones that are more washable. Also, there's a spray nozzle up in front and it uses back and forth sweeping motions and a little downward pressure to mop. The iLife W400 is a little bit different. If we look underneath, we have a spinning brush roll or mopping head. It also has spray nozzles along the right here. And to boot, it has a vacuum that can suck up the dirty water and a squeegee to finish off the clean. So what do you guys think? Can the iLife W400 compete with the Bravo Jet M6? We'll go ahead and do these head-to-head -head tests and the results will speak for themselves. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at how these two robots break down. Each robot can break down in three unique parts. So you have the main robot, the washing tank, and the disposable mopping pad. And it's the same thing with the iLife W400 as well. You notice that the iLife W400 washing tank is a lot larger. Well, it can hold more clean water and it has an extra tank for dirty water. So let me go ahead and show you how to get these guys ready to go. Starting with the Bravo Jet M6, you just install the wet mopping pad, install the water tank, and you're good to go. You can add a mild cleaning solution to both robots water tanks. I recommend using an official solution made for robot mops. Both iLife and, and iRobot have their own version of a cleaning solution. I found that the instructions on the Bravo Jet M6 was a little bit easier. I was having trouble figuring out what side the mopping pad went. So last part is the dual water tanks. It just kind of slots in. A little tricky, but nothing too difficult. Also, there's instructions on top to show you how to perform these actions. So the Brava Jet M6 is a smart mopping robot which allows you to connect to its own app through your smartphone. Um, within the app you have three different cleaning preferences. Standard for most messes, deep for toughest messes, and extended coverage for light messes. So I noticed that if you do the extended coverage, it's not going to go over the same area as frequently but it still performs the same back and forth motion as demonstrated in this video. So another feature that the Brava Jet M6 has over the iLife W400 is the ability to return to its charging station automatically. So you can start the Brava Jet M6 anywhere in a mapped location and the Brava M6 once it's done with its cleaning cycle will return to its charging dock. The Brava M6 is more like how you would traditionally mop. You would go back and forth and then apply a little pressure and spray down some solution as you go. The Brava Jet M6 offers two modes, dry mopping and wet mopping. You can also buy disposable pads for $7.99 for a pack of seven and two washable pads for $24.99. The M6 was doing good until it got to the carpet, then this is where it managed to beach itself onto the carpet. Unfortunately, it was unable to get itself unstuck towards the end of this wall. So hopefully through future updates, iRobot can improve the ability to recognize hardwood floors and carpet. I know not everyone is going to have this situation, and you can always solve the situation by moving the boundary area a little bit closer so it doesn't get near the carpet area. It's just something I wanted to show you guys. Sometimes the Brava Jet M6 does it, sometimes it doesn't. At this filming, it did do it this time, so I felt like I wanted to show you guys what happened. 
and right when it got to the wall, it couldn't back up, turn, and get back onto the hardwood floor. It basically got stuck right here. So next, we're going to try the dry stripping method. Um, the robot was successful and it was able to clean the entire area without any problems. So I'm going to go ahead and see how long it takes to clean this area. And we're going to see if it's quicker than the iLife W400. So once it's done with its back and forth cleaning motion, it will go around the area and get all along all the edges. Um, the Brava M6 also has the ability to recharge itself. So once it's done with its cleaning cycle, the top of the robot will turn blue, indicating that it's ready to go back to its charging dock. The iLife W400's cleaning pattern, path mode and area mode is very similar to the dry mopping cleaning pattern on the Brava M6. There's no back and forth sweeping motion like on the Brava M6. It just does a continuous straight line towards an obstacle, then rotates 180 degrees. The iLife W400 comes with its own dedicated remote. It's a nice feature to have. Unfortunately, there's no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth capabilities, so you cannot pair this with a smartphone. So the iLife W400 doesn't do a full perimeter edge sweep. It only does a partial one. Um, there is a dedicated mode that allows it to do a, just an edge cleaning sweep. Both mopping robots have excellent battery life. The W400 is around 80 minutes and the Brava Jet M6 is close to two hours. They both have sufficient charge to complete the job and they also can carry enough clean water to get enough coverage. So I give a thumbs up to both the W400 and Brava M6. I found that the W400 did a better job staying away from the carpet area. After filming, I checked the edges of the carpet and it didn't feel wet. So I give a thumbs up to the W400 to keep itself away from the carpet. Also, it did a decent job cleaning around the edges. Once the W400 is done with its cleaning cycle, it will return to the starting point. It will also do a 360 degree spin to clean up any excess water. Now here's where the Brava M6 really shines. The spot cleaning mode is top notch. It goes over the same small area multiple times ensuring that heavy stains, grimes, dirt, anything that's on your hardwood floor comes off. It does an excellent job. So allow the Brava M6 to make multiple passes and it will be able to lift up those tough stains. So, in this cleaning mode, the Brava M6 took about 12 and a half minutes to finish the spot cleaning. Keep in mind that you want to have the spray level to the minimum because it will put too much water down on the hardwood floors. For tiles, you should have more spray. Once it's done with its back and forth motion, it will finish up the spot cleaning with the perimeter sweep. So the iLife W400 also has this mode. It's just a little spot icon on the remote or you can do it on the robot. It took about 2 minutes and 12 seconds to perform a similar size area. I like the Brava M6 spot cleaning better because it spent more time cleaning the area. I like the W400's instruction manual. It gives clear detail on how each of the four modes work. We have area mode, path mode up in the top right, spot mode, and also on the next page we have edge mode. Um, also the instruction manual provides you clear details how to start the robot, end the robot, charge the robot. So good job I like for providing a great manual. Okay, here's a quick look at the last cleaning mode. Um, if you like these types of videos, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. It will really help us out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next head-to-head -head challenge.